This video explains how to add students to your classroom in Schoolpace. To get started, log in to Schoolpace. Then, navigate to your classroom. When you see your class list, click the Manage Students link near the top of the screen. The Manage Students screen is divided into two columns. The left side is the Student Repository. This is where you can search for existing student records in your school or your district. The right side shows your classroom. As you add students to your classroom, they will appear on the right side of the screen. We are going to add four students to Ms. Maloney's second grade classroom here in Ochoa Elementary School. Let's learn a little bit about our four students. Kurt Huberts is a second grader in another classroom here at Ochoa Elementary. Randy Scheifer is a student who is transferring from Bolden Elementary School. Randy was not yet assigned to a classroom at Bolden. Jonathan Samuel is a student who is transferring from Armstrong Elementary School. Jonathan is still on a second grade class list over at Armstrong. And Victoria Chen is a new student transferring from another district. First, we'll add Kurt Huberts, who is a second grader here at our school. Click the letter H to see all students whose last name start with an H. Scroll down, and here he is. Notice that there is an add link next to Kurt's name. Click that link to add Kurt to our classroom. Notice that the list on the right refreshes automatically. And here's Kurt. Next, we'll add Randy Scheifer. Randy was a student at Bolden Elementary School last year, but she's not yet assigned to any classroom this year. Since Randy comes from another school, you won't find her record listed under your school. Click the Show Students from All Schools in the District button. This will expand your search. Click the letter S to see all students whose last names start with an S. And since we're searching across the district, there will be more names. Scroll down, and we'll find Randy. Here she is. Click the Add button to add Randy to our class list. Next, we'll add Jonathan Samuel, who's transferring from Armstrong Elementary School. We're looking at all student records for the whole district and we're already looking at students whose last name begins with an S. Here's Jonathan's record, but this time there's no add link. Why? Jonathan must still be assigned to a classroom over at Armstrong. Before you can add Jonathan, he'll need to be removed from that other classroom. To make that happen, there are a couple of things you can do you can talk to Jonathan's previous teacher, if you have any way to contact him or her, and ask for Jonathan's record to be removed from that teacher's classroom. You can ask a district administrator to remove Jonathan's record from the previous classroom. Or, you can contact Schoolpace support at schoolpace at americanreading.com and we'll try to coordinate the removal. Make sure to include as much information as possible about Jonathan, including his first and last name, student ID number, and previous school information. We'll have to wait until Jonathan is removed from the previous classroom to finish adding his record. Finally, we'll add Victoria Chen, who is coming from another district. We should still check to see if her record is already in the system. Maybe your school imports student information into Schoolpace routinely. Make sure you're searching district-wide by clicking the Show Students from All Schools in the District button, and then click on the letter C.
There is no Victoria Chen in this list, so we'll add a new student record. Click the New Student link at the top of the page. At a minimum, fill in Victoria's first name, last name, and student identification number. Why do we ask for the student identification number? Well, this number allows us to prevent duplicate student records, to move data between systems, and to identify students with common names. You can fill out any other information about Victoria that you may have, and when you're done, click the Save Student button. You'll notice that Victoria's name is now in our class list.